Right, okay, welcome back to King's Cut MMA. We're here with Jason Blair. Jason, obviously, I think if people were going to put money on you, probably would have gone for a KO. <laughs> <laughs> Not really an armbar, but that was really technical there. Are you, are you pleased that you got that submission win under your pro? Uh, pro yeah, favorite? always always looking for finishes, always, mm. uh, you know, trying to get out of there as fast as you can, taking opportunities. You know, these are uh, repetitions we put in or for moments like that, you know, it's just something you jump on when it presents itself. It's not something you really game plan for, but, yeah. you know, happy to come away, add a new, uh, add a submission onto the resume and keep moving forward from here. That's it. That's it. And obviously before you came into the fight, did it really go as you planned and you thought it would, it would go basically? Or... Uh, you know, with the system we have at the MMA Fight Academy, uh, we're prepared to get finishes no matter where it is, where, whether we're on the feet, on the ground, up against the cage. We're always, you know, constantly drilling, always having uh, finishing move, always, you know what I mean, visualizing something. So it doesn't necessarily have to be, I have to do this. I have to put him here. I have to do this to win mm. the fight. You know, I, with the system we have, you look at the variety of talent that we have and how guys are winning, you can see that, you know, we're dangerous and threat from every position. So I'm glad I was able to show... Uh, some more of my skills tonight. Nice, nice. And on socials this week, we saw Paddy the Baddy talking you up, basically saying that all you do is eat, sleep, train, repeat sort of thing. Do you, do you have any fun? Yeah, <laughs> other yeah, than yeah I, 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 do, I do have tons of fun, but a lot of the fun <laughs> comes from, you know, the people you surround yourself with, you yeah. know, like being in the gym, cracking jokes and, you know, just the, the bond you have, whether, uh, you know, shared suffering. Sometimes the grind is what, you know, develops that love, builds those relationships and, that to me is fun, you know, when you're around great people and, you know, people that inspire you to be better, then you're always having a good time. So great, you know, grateful to be fighting for Cage Warriors, grateful to be part of the MMA Fight Academy and, you know, training studio fight forward and everything like that. So love every part of this uh, journey and can't be more thankful for all the people I have in my life that make this all worth it. Nice, nice. And the last one from me, obviously you're here in Newcastle for the first time. Will you be making really the UK a home now for your fights? Forget about San Diego. You love the cloudiness and the rain here. What's what's your thoughts on that? Uh, it's definitely a little switch up. Definitely makes you appreciate home a little bit more. But you can't, uh, you know, it's hard to say. The UK energy is always second to none. Uh, you know, obviously fighting in San Diego, you got friends and family there. So yeah. that's always a special thing. But, you know, it's always electric. It's a, it's a special thing. There's a reason why Cage Warriors has been putting on shows for over 20 years. And why they're so, so successful here. You know, the UK fan base is amazing. And, you know, I'm always grateful for any opportunity to fight over here. Great performance. I'm looking forward to thank seeing you. Thank you, you for your time.